I just wanted to catch you up a little bit because by the time you actually see this video, I'm a little bit behind in sort of real time if you like. So to keep up with real time, you kind of have to be on the Instagram. So I'll put the Instagram somewhere and check out the stories. I tend to be more current, but I fell behind a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you remember, but I did have a gap of a week. I had some technical problems and some internet problems basically. And it's quite good in a way that I had internet problems because the video couldn't go up. My internet literally died at home. So the video couldn't go up because it wasn't uploaded. And then the next day I noticed there was a problem with the export as well. It hadn't exported properly and there was all sorts of like black screen bits which wouldn't have been fun for you to watch. So anyway, suffice to say, sorry if I'm wobbling you about a bit as well, you're a few weeks behind. So what's been happening then to catch you up? Emotional roller coaster, definitely, which is um, another reason why I've been sort of cocooning and hibernating and hiding away a little bit in my studio and at home have actually made it in today so I've, I've done quite well and excuse the bed hair as well but you know I'm doing my best basically and um, I don't mind if you don't mind and maybe you've got bed hair too so we're allowed <laughs> The sky is beautiful and so are you I wanna make it up to you, start something new Yeah, I've been thinking of the parts I play for you And how I'm drinking from the bottle as I do It's like a long dream You're on the I've been having a rather bumpy ride these past few weeks, so that's why I've chosen to have some spaces in between filming these videos, ground and centre, to find some crystal clarity. I've been learning when to surrender to it all, and just as importantly, when not to. When to be the warrior, and what sort of warrioring is needed. In these dark in-between places, when we allow ourselves to experience and feel them without numbing out, now there's a whole other video. This is where the magic happens. The treasure lies, waiting to be discovered as small but sparkly gemstones, sometimes wedged into those rocky places. I've been reminding myself to pick up the treasure, breathe, nurture, slow, pause, go within, Gosh, I say that a lot, don't I?
put you somewhere, I wonder. Hang on a sec. And I put you on here. Let's see. I think I can put you on there, can't I, with my plant, with my plant baby. So I want to give myself some grace. I want to slow down because I've got some bumpy times. So I have been art journaling this morning and processing it all out and um, yeah, recording the whole process for the art journaling videos. And it gets a bit vulnerable and a little bit like naked on the page in a way, not literally, but you know what I mean. I think it's important to share the process. And you know, I have a safe space over there. It's a small cocoon of beautiful souls. And it feels like a safe space. Like my journal is a safe, sacred space for me to create. That's how it feels. It feels quite intimate and um, yeah, maybe a bit vulnerable, but I think that's good. I think it's important that we share that stuff as well. You know, life isn't perfect. We know it's bumpy. And so, yeah. Part, yeah, this is part of the art process that, you know, is really intimate and does go deep within at times. Sometimes it's nice to get really expressive and paint flowers in bright, beautiful colours and it's really uplifting and you get lost in that kind of zone. And then for me, sometimes my art journals are that safe, sacred space that I go back to again and again. And as you'll, you'll have seen, if you've seen any other videos on my YouTube channel, you will notice there's only one sketchbook art journal tour because I take years working in these journals. And, you know, sometimes I do 10 layers over the pages and sometimes not. So it completely depends. But so yeah. working in my handmade journal, and on these pages, this is just the beginning of the pages I'm working on. And yeah, I made this whole book from scratch over Christmas New Year period. So all those videos are up in the art journaling um, playlist. It's the word I'm looking for, isn't it? So if you want to make your own journal, you can. And I put two signatures in here. So I've got stuff. It's going to fall out if I hold it up. But basically, I think that's the end. Is that the end of the signature? There. That's the end of that signature. And then I've got another signature here. And I haven't dipped into that one yet because I thought when I finished this signature, which is getting really fat now, I can, yeah, share the process with you and uh, maybe do a little half journal flip through if you like to show you. But you might remember we did those pages as well in the uh, YouTube videos. And then I've got myself love teacups and and then working on this one so there's all sorts in here so, so i will share that anyway when i'm done and uh yeah talk you through a little bit more of the intimacy if i'm brave enough if i'm brave to say it all yeah because it's quite intimate but we're all emotional beings so we shouldn't worry about that and, this, and these pages is all about radical self-acceptance so radical self-acceptance and I read my astrology this morning. I follow someone called Chani Nicholas on, I think it's an email I get, but they're definitely on Instagram. And if you're not into astrology, then, then just ignore me. But I am, and I really love following things. And I was wondering what was going on in the last few days, because it's been very complicated and very bumpy. So I looked it up and basically there's no big aspects going on, but I did read that it's a time for radical self-acceptance and I thought you know how quick we are to judge ourselves and we can quite quickly slip into that kind of judgment headspace can't we but I think if we're present and we're honoring each other I think we sometimes even when we sort of honor each other we forget to honor ourselves and so the radical self-acceptance really rang true for me today because I thought I'm allowed to feel I keep coming back to the um the film with Kate Winslet and Jack Black and Cameron Diaz and who else was it? I can't remember his name. But it's the holiday, basically. The holiday with Kate Winslet and it's like a Christmassy thing and they, she swaps houses with Cameron Diaz who's got this big place in LA and she's got this little chocolate box cottage and they swap houses and it's really, really fun. And she realises that she's the leading lady of her own life and that's her line in the film that really, whoa, rung, rung true. And we are, we're the leading figure in our own life and we forget so easily so it's time for some grace and it's time for some self-acceptance and um yeah I'm practicing what I preach because it's one thing saying it it's another thing actually practicing it in real life when times do get difficult as they do you know what I mean anyway I just thought I'd catch you up a little bit because by the time like I say you watch this it's going to be a few weeks later and 
yeah, I won't know whether I'm coming or going either. So you probably will have, yeah, be all confused and lost and think, well, she was doing that and now she's that. But I had a bit of a gap, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There was a bit of a gap, a bit of a break. Yeah. Anyway. <coughs>
I haven't talked to you much today because it's been a really funny kind of day. So, and not funny in a good way, if you know what I mean. So I've been a little bit sidetracked, but uh, I will explain everything. But basically, yeah, not the easiest of days. Yeah, I've been swatching my new watercolours, which has been really fun. And also, I have been putting together a, um, a journaling sheet for the Patreon. So that she's nearly done now, I think, and some um, prompts and stuff. Just working a little bit more on, um, on my fairies as well. And then I've also been opening the shop and sorting out shop discount codes and things like that for the Patreons. And what else? Yeah, and also doing a, a little photo shoot with some, um, some originals that I've got going in the shop. So they should be in the shop now as we speak. So I think I think there's only five or six originals that have gone in. I think there were six. I think that one's already gone. So I've basically been catching up with my bits and bobs. That's basically what I've been doing in between having a fairly tricky day. But um, yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go home now and get something to eat because I'm getting really hungry. And I'll probably have veggie sausages again because I'm really into those yeah with some um, salad and avocado and stuff and then I've got a load of berries so I'm going to have some kind of berry pudding I think a very nice pudding <laughs> to cheer me up to cheer myself up and I think then I'm going to go to bed with a hot chocolate and I've just got to do a little blog post for the little update I've just got to finish writing that because I'm almost done so I just want to check it and spell check it and edit, do a final edit if you like. Because uh, I've not been really with it, so I don't want to post it without checking it through. And then I will probably see you in the morning, I'm thinking. I don't know if I will vlog when I get home or not. We'll have to see, won't we? Oh, and I think I'm going to have a salt bath as well. Feel the need to, um, yeah, decontaminate from life and the world and all that stuff. But... Uh, yeah, the, the day has been really nice and it, it's such a different room in the, um, in the heat because it's so easy to keep cool. And so, yeah, I'm really enjoying that, even though we've had a little bit of a heat wave here in the UK. And um, I think it's going to get really hot tomorrow. So that will be a test as well. So I'll see you really soon. I'm not sure when. So we're pretty early this morning and um, yeah, off to the studio. It's going to be a scorchio day as well apparently, so uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a coffee when we get there, I think, this morning. I've had my green juice and I'm ready for a little coffee, I think. So yeah, it's been a really crazy few days already. In fact, the last couple of weeks have been pretty bonkers with all the, there's been, I don't know, there's the mystery at the moment I'm having is, and it's really unsettled me, um, and we still haven't got to, gotten to the bottom of it, um, and the whole grand scheme of things, there's no harm done, but um, yeah, my, my door was unlocked when James went, got to the studio on Monday, he like messaged me and he was like, your door was unlocked. Now, I know I can be sometimes forgetful and scatty, but I'm so careful about locking doors. And so what I do is I lock the door and then I try it. And I know on Friday, James had gone first because he'd gone on his bike. So he'd left the studio first and I was there and I locked my door when I was ready to leave and tried it. And I know I tried it twice. And the people outside in the main office must think, you know, I'm a bit bonkers because she's just locked the door. Why is she just checking it? I mean, sometimes I come back up the stairs into the building and... Um, you know, just to make sure I've locked the freaking door. Anyway, suffice to say, I'm really careful about it. So I'm 99%, 99.9% sure, to be fair, that it's not me that's left the door open. I've never left the door open. So, yeah. And basically, they've been doing quite a few checks on the building, you know, for like safety regulations and fire regulations, I believe, and things like that's been going on. So they have needed access to some of the rooms. And in fact, someone came to see me on Friday and said, oh, can I just test your fire things? So, you know, and I don't have a problem with someone coming in my room. 
not a problem at all. Maintenance and things that need to be doing, the window cleaner comes, etc. So it's not that. But it is, first of all, it's really nice to be given notice if somebody's coming in your room. And most importantly, you know, it'd be really nice if they locked the door afterwards. So whoever it was, and this is the mystery see, we don't know who it was. Everyone's saying, no, 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 we don't know who it was. So I've gone round with everybody and asked the people I know that have got access to keys. Now, not everyone with access to keys really should be going in the offices. So some people that aren't involved in the building that are going into accessing the keys. So I've asked them as well. Nobody has, knows anything about it. No one. So somebody's been in my room, left without any, you know, prior notice, left the door open, which is really uncomfortable and not safe for me and my stuff. And yeah, so that's the first, the first thing, the mystery of the, um, of the unlocked door. Not happy bunny happy about it but these things happen at the end of the day we're all human aren't we mistakes get made but I just want to know like you know who it was so that they know they left the door open so that if they're going to someone else's office a they need to get um, some kind of give some kind of notice to that person and basically say is it okay that I access your room it's a really, it's a really smoky car in front of me And then second of all, importantly, lock the freaking door when you leave. Someone else's space. Anyway. And then there was another thing yesterday because this random person um, just wanted to introduce themselves, came in my room um, and ended up, I've never met them before in my life, and ended up kind of like, hugging me like throwing their arms around me and hugging me and you know that might sound like okay but you know in the current situation in the world a i don't really have people in my room since the lockdowns and haven't so this person was really lucky to sort of come in my room be invited in my room if you like but i was kind of cornered so i couldn't back off as well so it was this lady and she was like oh i should have asked before i did that shouldn't i and i was like well, probably, yeah. She was like, I don't know if you're a hugger or not. And I'm like, well, I'm not actually hugging at the moment, bearing in mind the situation in the world we've just been through. You know, and I'm not fully okay with everything yet. You know, I, I haven't opened... I don't do open studio, for example, when they do the um, they do the open offices and things like that. I, I don't go. I don't want people coming in my office. I'm not comfortable and relaxed about it all yet you know I'm not back to how it was I'm not and I feel really weird about it and I've got OCD as well so I, I was literally in tears afterwards I was literally in tears yesterday so I didn't feel like talking to you I'm really sorry I've not really talked to you much in the last week or so because <laughs> little things like this keep happening you know there'll be like 10 things like this in one day and then it's like the same the next day and the same the next day and it's like pretty full on and um, I just feel in my system, you know, I get upset more. It, it's like everything's intensified a thousandfold with the lady hormones and, and, and menopause or penomores, as me and James call it. And um, yeah, so anyway, we're nearly there now. So I'll, I'll talk to you when we get to the studio and we'll have a little coffee. Because that will be nice. The sky is beautiful and so are you I wanna make it up to you, start something new Yeah, I've been thinking of the parts I played for you Now I'm drinking from the bottle as I do It's like a long